नो पेपर नंबर सिक्सटी फाइव नो इन दिस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स टू सेवेंटी नो सिक्सटी सिक्स टू सिक्सटी नाइन हाउ मेनी पर्सन आर देर देर आर सम एट पर्सन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट एंड दीज पर्सन आर फेसिंग टू वर्ड द सेंटर विद इक्वल डिस्टेंस बिट बट नॉट ने इन द सेम ऑर्डर इज इन इट फेसिंग द सेंटर सी सीट्स थाउ टू द राइट ऑल जी एज दीज पर्सन आर फेसिंग टू वर्ड द सेंटर नाउ वी नीड टू फिक्स वन पर्सन जी नाउ दिस सी इज सीटेड थाउ टू द राइट ऑफ जी सी विल बी हियर एंड नेक्स्ट वन ओनली वन पर्सन बिटवीन जी एंड एफ वन पर्सन बिटवीन जी एंड एफ हाउनी पॉजिबिलिटीज यू हैव टू पॉजिबिलिटीज Either F can be left hand side of G or right hand side of G. Now eight persons, one, two, three, four. G is here, and C is here, and only one person between G and F. F can be either left hand side or right hand side. A sits to the immediate left of F. A is to the immediate left of F, and B is neither an immediate neighbor of G nor C, and B cannot be an immediate neighbor of G nor C means no B cannot be here and B cannot be here, and so only possible is. B can be in any one of these three places. Now in this one, B cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here. The second possibility is completely ruled out, isn't it? <coughs> Now B is neither an immediate neighbor of G nor C. As B is not an immediate neighbor of G nor C. Now B cannot be in these two places, and cannot be in these two places, isn't it? Yes. What is the only possibility we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what is the other possibility here? Eight. Is there any possibility in the second case? No. Isn't it? And next one, coming to this one. <coughs> And B is neither an immediate neighbor of G nor C. H is it's a second to the left of B. As H is seated second to the left of B. Now B cannot be here as well. If B is here, H and F must be in the same place. B cannot be here. Then what is the only possibility we have? Now B must be opposite to this F. Clear now? As B is opposite to F, B is here, and this H is seated second to the left of B. H must be at this place, and D is one of the immediate neighbors of H. D is here. Then who is the person left over? E is the person left over. Then now question number sixty-six. Which of the following statements is not true? That means false. B is an immediate neighbor of E and D. That is true. C sits second to the left of D. That is also true. And C sits to the immediate right of F. That is also true. Only three people between A and E. That is false. And so is four. Next one. Question number sixty-seven. Now in this sixty-seven, who among the following sit exactly between F and D? Exactly between F and D. When counted from the left of D, how many persons? There are two persons, C and H. So I is one. Then question number sixty-eight. Now in the sixty-eight, if all the people are made to sit in alphabetical order, in anti-clockwise direction from A, anti-clockwise direction from A, isn't it? The positions of how many people, excluding A, will remain unchanged. Now anti-clockwise, this is A, B, C remain at the same place. D, E, F, G, H. Yes, how many persons remain at the same place? There is only one person that is C. Then question number sixty-nine, and who among the following sits to the immediate right of E? Immediate right of E that is G choice five. Then seventy-eighth. Now question number seventy to seventy-five, and these are based on sequence of numbers. Now what are the numbers here? Four twenty-three, one forty-six, four twenty-three. One forty-six, six twenty-five, seven eighty-nine, and the next number is three seventy-eight. Now in total we have some five numbers. Now question number seventy: If two is subtracted from the third digit of every odd number, every odd number how much should be subtracted? Two must be subtracted. Hence so two is subtracted from this, and one is added. One is added to the third digit of every even number. Every even number one is added to this one. Then how many numbers will be divided divisible by three? Now in this one, four plus two plus three is so much. Six plus three nine minus two seven. It is not divided by three. And one plus four six, eleven plus one twelve. It is divided by three. And six plus two eight plus five thirteen minus two eleven. Not divided by three. And seven plus eight plus nine twenty four minus two twenty two. Not divided by three. 
and 3 plus 7, 10 plus 8, 18 plus 9, 19. 19 cannot be divided. Hence, how many numbers here? There is only one number which can be divided by 3. Are you following this one or not? <coughs> then question number 71. If in each number all the digits are arranged in the descending order, within the number, how many even numbers will be formed? Yes, tell me how many even numbers will be formed? No, sir. The digits are written in the descending order. Now, in order to determine whether a number is an odd number or an even number, how can you determine? And with the help of the units digit. The units digit is even digit, then it is an even number. Now, which digit is coming to the last place? The smallest digit. Now, among these numbers, the smallest digit tell me which is the even. Now, 2 is even, smallest. Here, 1 is the smallest, not even. Here, 2 is the smallest, even. Here, 7 is not even. Here, 3 is not even. And so many numbers, there are only two numbers. And so what is your answer? 2 is the answer. Are you following this one or not? All the numbers, all the digits in the numbers are arranged in the descending order. The last digit must be the least digit. Among the least digits in the numbers, and whatever may be the even digit, that will be those many even numbers will be there. Then 72, the positions of the first and the second digits of each of the numbers are interchanged. What will, will be the result then? If third digit of the highest number thus form is divided by the third digit of the lowest number. Now first and the second digits are interchanged. How can you determine whether a number is the highest number or the least number? Based on the first digit. Which digit is coming to the first place? Second digit. Now, among the second digits, 2, 4, 2, 8, 7, which is the highest? 8 is the highest. And this must be 8, 79. That is the highest number. Then, which is the least one here? Now, the second digit is coming to the first place. 265 and 243. Which is the least? 243 is the least. Now, the question is about the third digit. Highest number third digit is divided by the third digit of the lowest. 9 divided by 3. What is your answer here? 3 is the answer. 3 that is given in choice, 5. Clear now? Next one, question number 73. What will be the resultant if the third digit of the lowest number? Lowest number, what is the third digit of the lowest number here? Lowest number is 146. Third digit is 6. Third digit of the lowest number is multiplied with the second digit of the highest number. Highest number, second digit, 8. Now 6 into 8. 6 into 8 is so much 48 that is choice 4. 48 choice 4. Then question number 74. If all the numbers are arranged in the ascending order from left hand side to right hand side. Numbers are arranged in the ascending order from left to right. Which of the following will be the sum of all the three, three days of the number which is fourth from the left. Fourth from the left is nothing but the second highest number. As yes, what is the first highest? 789. Second highest is 625. And the sum of this is 13. 13 that is choice 4. Clear? If all the numbers are arranged in the ascending order from left to right, which of the following will be sum of all the three digits of the number? Fourth from the left. Fourth from the left will be the second highest number, 625. The sum is 13, choice 4. Done? Then question number 75. Now in this 75, it is based on Letter series, ZS, TN, OJ, blank, HE. Z and T, the difference is minus 6. Here, minus 5. Next one is minus 4. Next is minus 3. Then what is the missing letter? K. Ascendant, 19 minus 14. The difference is 5. Here it is 4. Next one is 3. Now K and G. Next one is 2. The difference between among the first letter 6, 5, 4, 3. Second letter is 5, 4, 3, 2. And the missing one is KG. KG that is choice 2. And this is about 75. Then question number 76 to 80. Now in this 76 to 80, tell me what is the answer here? Now it is based on coding and decoding, isn't it? Now in this coding and decoding, then compare the first terms. As yes, tell me, the first two sentences, if you compare here, terms associated with insurance, compensation for medical terms, as yes. is there any word which is common here? Terms is the only one word which is common. And the code which is common between these two is dx. And the code to the word terms is dx. And in the last statement, terms is there, dx is also there. Then compare the first and the third. Now, associated with insurance. Now, in this one, insurance is the word which is common. 
as incidence is common here incidence tell me what is the word what is the code which is common here now incidence is common between the first and the third yhws and yhws and ws is the code which is common then if you compare the first and the fourth associated with and is there any word which is common between these two no word isn't it and so these two will be left over associated and with because between these two no word is repeated in any one of the one of the given statements and yh ju in any order then second and the third compensation for medical compensation for medical compensation is the word which is common and tell me what is the code common between these two and the code which is common is nb and the code to the word compensation is nb then next one for and medical for is the word which is common between these two as for is common between these two then what is the code which is common for is common and it is mk and the code to the word for is mk then medical as tell me what is the word common here medical is the word common and out of which lp the code to the word medical is lp then next one provide and guarantee the word which is common between these two is provide isn't it and what is the code which is common here zda tg here zda and so zda is common between these two and the code to the word provide is zda then what is the word left over here guarantee as the code word guarantee is left over and the code tg is here the code to the word guarantee is tg and payment is re now the code to the word payment is re now these are the words and their corresponding codes clear then what will be the code for guarantee payment guarantee payment guarantee is tg and payment payment is re re tg that is choice one 76 then question number 77 now in this what is the code for associated associated it could be either yhju yhrju that is given in choice two then 78 in the given code language what does the code nb stands for nb stands for compensation choice three and what is the code for insurance yes tell me what is the code ws choice three and question number 80 what may be the possible code for provide medical assistance provide it is ZA, isn't it? The code to the word provide is ZA. Medical assistance, medical is LP. Now we need to find out the code to the word assistant. Assistance is nowhere there in this one. ZA, LP, isn't it? This is ruled out. ZA, LP, and this is also ruled out. This is also ruled out. Now between ZA, LP, CV, and MK. Now MK is the stands for, MK stands for for. Hence, it cannot be your answer. Hence, CV is the code to the word assistance. Choice 1, 80. Then, question number 81 and 82. Now, in this question numbers 81 and 82, A is the father in law of B. B is here. B is spouse's father is A. A is the father in law of B. B is married to C. Now B is married to C. The genders of these two persons cannot be identified. D is the son of C. Now D is the son of these two persons B and C. D is the son of C. G is the wife of D. Now G is the wife of D. This is what the information given. How is C related to G? Yes, tell me how is this C related to G? Now this C is G's. Yes. How is this C related? Cannot be determined. Why? Because the gender of this C is not known. Cannot be determined. Then question number 82. If Y is the wife of A, Y is the wife of A, how is D related to Y? Now Y's child's son, that is grandson, choice 4. Then question number 83 to 87. Now in this 83 to 87, how many people are there? There are only 12 people and sitting on two different, in two parallel rows containing six people each, in such a way that one, two, three, four, five, six, and the six people, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then, between each adjacent rows in row one, C, D, E, F, G, and H are seated, and all of them are facing north. Now this is row one. Now who are the persons? C, D, E, F, G, H. And are row in one. And in row two, 
QRST UV and these persons are in row to QRST UV, then are facing south. Therefore, in the given seating arrangement, each member seated in a row faces another member of the other row. Then T sits second to the left of you. And T sits second to the left of you. The one who faces T sits second to the left of H. Now, so T sits second to the left of you. U is here, T is here. And again, the one who is facing T sits second to the left of H. And so many persons were involved? One, two, three, isn't it? And sits second, four, five, six. And how many persons were there? U R T and here 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5. In total we have 4, 5 persons. As 5 persons were involved, then what are the possible is U blank T and this must be H. That is one possible. Then what is the other possibility we have? Now in the next possibility, question numbers 83 onwards, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. It also one, two, three, four, five, six. Now U is here and this is T. As T is here, this must be H. Done with this? We have some two possibilities. Then T sits a second to the left of U. The one who is facing T sits a second to the left of H. Only two people sit between H and F. Two people sit between H and F in the first case F is here and in the second case F must be here. Two people between H and F and C sits to the immediate left of E. As C is seated to the immediate left of E, now in the first case C is to the immediate left of E, and in the second case we have two possibilities, only two people between T and V. As only two people between T and V, V is here. Now in this one V must be here, two people. The one who faces G sits to the immediate right of U. The one who is facing G sits to the immediate right of U, hence G must be here. Are you following this one or not? The one who is facing V sits to the right of you. This case is not at all possible, isn't it? Then, now we are left with only one case. Now, in this case, we have one more information. What is that information here? The one who is facing G sits to the immediate right of Q. Q sits to the immediate right of S. Now, Q is to the immediate right of S. So Q and S will be here. If Q and S is here, then who is the person? R is the person left over. And in the second case, two people are in between. C sits to the immediate left of E. As C is to the immediate left of E, C and E will be here. If C and E is here, D is the person left over, D must be here. Then, 83. Now in this 83, who among the following sits at one of the extreme ends of the line? One of the extreme ends of the line, G, V, S, H. Out of which what is given? S, choice 5. Next one, question number 84. As per the given arrangement, V is related to C. V and C, what is the relation here? Now, V is, now C is, opposite is T, third right is V, and at the same time, R is related to H. H opposite third right is R, and in the same way, following the same pattern, U is related. U is related to E. E is opposite third to the right of, E is opposite is U. That is, E is the answer choice to 84. Then 85. <coughs> What is the position of V with respect to R? V and R. Now this V and R, R is seated second to the left. Second to the left, that is choice to 85. Then 86, who among the following is an immediate neighbor of H? Immediate neighbor of H is E, choice to again. 86, it is choice to. Then 87, which of the following is not true regarding R? Not true means false regarding R. Choice to R faces F, that is definitely true. One person sits to the left of R, that is false. Because three persons to the left of R, only one person sits to the left of R is definitely false. Choice 3. Then, 85, 85 left over. Now, what is the position of V with respect to R? Yes, what is the position of R? Second to the right. Now, second to the right, choice 5 is the answer. Okay, 2 Japan. No? Now, second to the right, choice five. Second, second to the right, the second to the right of R, that is V. What is the position of V with respect to R? R the choose the V alone, not one center. Then, next one, 88. Now, in this question number 88, yes, tell me what is the question here, 88? Now, dialect is the word, D-I-A, 
L E C T. Now, in this word dialect, and is changed to the next letter. Vowel is changed to the next letter. Vowel, next letter I J E F, and A B. Vowel changed to the next letter. Each consonant is changed to the previous letter. Consonant means this is C, this is K, this is B, and this is S. Consonant changed to the previous letter. Then, and then the alphabets thus formed are arranged in the alphabetical order from left to right. Which of the following will be third from the right? As now the letters are arranged in the alphabetical order from left hand side to right hand side. Now the third from the right hand side means, now tell me which is the first one from the right hand side? Highest letter. Which is the highest letter? S, that is at the first place from the right. And next one to this is K, and the next one is J. What is your answer here? J, that is choice 3. Now the question is about third from the right hand side, that is the third consonant from the right hand side that is J choice 3. Then question number 89 and 90. Now in this 89 and 90 tell me what is your answer here. Abhilasha starts walking towards west from point S. S is here. Now from here Abhilasha walks for towards west from point S he walks for 10 meters. After walking for 10 meters he then takes a left turn and walks for 25 meters. Now 25 meters left hand side. She then takes a right turn and turn and walks for 15. Right hand side, what is the distance? She travels 15. And she again takes a right turn and stops at point Q after walking 20 meters. Now here, now this is point Q at 20 meters. Then if point X is, point X is 25 meters, 25 meters to the east of Q. X is 25 meters to the east of Q. From here to here it is 15, equivalent to this. And here to here it is another 10. And in total 25 x will be here. And then how far is point s from point x? Now the distance between this. Now out of this 25, this 25, and so what is left over here? 5 meters. Now 5 meters that is choice 3, 89 choice. Three. Then question number 90. In which direction is point q with respect to s? q with respect to s from s, this is south and west. Southwest is the answer, choice 3. Question number 90, choice 3 is the answer. Then, after this 90, then question number 91 to 95. Now, in this 91 to 95, all roads are what? All these roads are planes. Now, these are the roads which are planes. Next one, all planes are ships. All roads are planes. All planes are ships. Some ships or boats can be written like this. Then, first one, no boat is a plane. That is true as of now. All roads are ships is also true. And out of this, the first one is what? First one is a? Negative conclusion to make this one false. Now we need to draw some of the boats are plane. Now boat and plane should be intersect. Alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion will be false. Hence, so what is your answer? Only two follows. Only two, choice 5, 91. Then question number 92. Now in this 92, some of the bottles are what? Some bottles are spoons. Some bottles are spoons can be written like this bottle and spoon. And all spoons are vessels. All the spoons are vessels. First one, no vessel is a bottle that is false, and all spoons are a bottle that is false. Neither one, not two, choice three. Then, 93. Now, in this question number 93, all roads are planes. All these roads are planes. All roads are planes. All planes are ships, and some ships are boats. Some of the ships are boats. And first one, some planes are boat that is false, and no plane is a boat, definitely true. Second one is a negative conclusion, which is to, to make this one false. Now we need to draw the complementary. That is some of the, some planes are boats. Some planes are boats and alternate diagram proven previous conclusion is false. After making this previous conclusion false, now we need to check out the affirmative conclusion which was false in the basic diagram has become true or not. Now in this alternate diagram, the first conclusion some planes are boat has become true. When the second one is true, first is false. When the first is, second is false, first is true. Hence, between these two, only one must follow. Hence, either one or two, choice five. 93, choice five. Then question number 94. Now in this 94, tell me what is your answer here. Some cars are scooters. These are the cars which are scooters. Next one, some scooters are trucks. Scooter and truck. And no truck is a bike. No intersection between these two, truck and bike. And first one, some trucks are cars. That is false and some bikes are scooter, that is also false. 
and so neither one nor two choice two, 94. Then 95, now some cars are scooters, the same statement some cars are scooters and some scooters are trucks and no truck is a bike, no truck is a bike, this is the statement. And some scooters are bike, that is false, no scooter is a bike, definitely true, as the negative conclusion is true, to make this one false, now we need to draw the complementary, some other scooters are bike. Is it possible to draw like this or not? Yes, alternate diagram proven, previous conclusion false. Then we need to check out for either or. Now the sum so okay, scooters or bikes has become true. Then what is your answer? Either one or two and it is given in choice two. Then this is about 95. Yes, question number 65 to 95, we have done 30 questions. Then, yes, what is the time? We have taken some 21 minutes in this. Okay? Me write the 35 to 35 years sir. Now, I have speed of 35 to 35 years. Then, then 96 to 100. Now, here in this paper, we have not checked out any question. Which one should be left or which one should be worked out. Why we have not gone? Because the entire paper is easy. There is nothing to leave in this paper at all. Then, then 96 to 100. Now, in this 96 to 100, now it is based on a sequence. Now in this sequence, so how many such letters are there? Now the question is about letter, each of which is immediately preceded by a symbol and also followed by a number. Symbol, letter and a number. Now symbol, letter and number tell me how many possible this. Symbol, directly we should start from the symbol, this symbol cannot be your answer. And symbol, letter and number. Next one, symbol, letter and it is not followed by number. Symbol, letter and number at the rate of y2. Next one, star k it is not following and and a it is also not following and plus f and 6 there is one more and symbol letter and number has anything else and there are only three such and three and choice four and in these type of questions first we need to decode the given information like this because for each and every element we cannot work out this symbol letter and a number then 97 now in this question number 97 which of the following is 8th to the left of 19th from the left 8th to the left of 19th from the left and both are left and left, 11th left. 11th left means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11th left, that is why is the answer. Okay? Manu regular question is just no But whereas, in some of the cases, which of the following letter is, and segregate one point. Which of the following letter is, and top of the mind, 11th letter from the left hand side counts here. Are element matter at the Element guns matter. Regular one other type of question just now. Element replaced to a then a letter in a left which digit is and shall get. Up 11th digit from the left hand side counts here score. Left the symbol at the symbol and counts here. Okay, in the room then we need to think out in that pattern as well. Then 98. What should come in place of the question mark? M, T and copyright. Yes, M, T and copyright. Then what should come in place of the question mark? M, T and copyright. Yes, M, T and copyright. Now, whenever more than two elements were given, write one below the other one empty corporate and a hash, percentage hash and eight. Next one, dollar Q pound, dollar Q and euro. Next one, nine storage, nine storage. Then the next one, M star, M and star. Where is M? M and star, M and percentage. One, two, three percentage. One, two, three, four plus four. And after this one, one, two, three, four, five plus five. And so plus 3, plus 4, plus 5, next one is plus 6. Now 6 element. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now what is element here? N is element. Isn't it? N is element. How many choices we have? Two choices with N and A. Hence, A is the second element in both the cases. No need to work out on the second one. Isn't it? One choice, one and a choice, two and one. Okay, A was to the money. And the third one. What is the third element here? Copyright and 8. Now copyright 8 and euro j, next one is z, and, and, and z choice to is the answer. Clear now? 98. Then question number 99, if all the symbols are dropped from the arrangements, then which of the following will be 13th from the right? 13th from the right by taking all the symbols. Symbols are dropped 13th from the right and to put it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Then what is your answer? S that is choice to. Now we need to count out only the elements other than the symbols. 
then 100. What is question number 100? Four of the following. Four of the following are alignment should is an odd man out. Greater B, Z, J. Greater B, Z, J. Greater B. Greater and B, minus 2, isn't it? And B and Z, 1, 2, 3, plus 3, minus 2, plus 3, Z and J, plus 1. Z and J, plus 1. Minus 2, plus 3, plus 1. And 4 P and A. 4 and P. 4 and P, 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4. And next one P and N. 1, 2, minus 2. And next one N and A, plus 1. Minus 2, plus 3, plus 1 is one case. Minus, plus 4, minus 2, plus 1 is the other. Now, if you could able to check out the third one, you will get the answer. And Z and copyright. Z and copyright. Z and copyright is... 1, 2, 3, 4, plus 4. As you are getting plus 4 here, 1 is the odd one. Clear now? And so what is your answer? 100, it is choice 1. Done? Yes, anything left out in this paper? Yes, how much time we have taken? 40, that means half an hour we have taken. Okay? To work out this 35 and at the same time for explanation as well. Or else if you could able to work out on your own, it won't take more than 15 to 17 minutes. Integral practice and 15 minutes can equal part of the next paper. Then, yes, anything left over here? 41 to 45. Now, in this 41 to 45, 844, what do you mean by this 844? 0.51, Next one is this is 1, this is 2, this is 4. 0.5 and 1 into 2, into 2, into 2, into 2. 4 into 2, 8. 32 into 8, 200 and now the last digit must be 6, so I is 2. Isn't it? Now 32 into 8, into 9. Yes, what is your answer here? 256 is the answer. Then 42 and 9, 13, 21. 9, 13, the numbers are increasing, get a smaller rate. <coughs> Difference, 4, 8, 16. Next one is 32. Now the number is 69, so I is 1. 42 it is choice 1. Then 43, 24, 31. Now 24 plus 7 is 31. And 31 plus how much is 43? Plus 31 plus 12 is 43. And 43 plus how much? 17 and 60 and 22. Now the difference between 7 and 12 is 5. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 5, 22. 22 plus 5, 27. And 72 plus 27, 109. Choice 5. Then 44, 7, 9, 14. 7 and 14, the difference is 2. Here the difference is 5. Here it is 10. <coughs> next one. Now difference between 2 and 5 is 3. Here it is 5. 3, 5, next number must be 7. And 24, 10 plus 7, 17. 24 plus 17, 41, choice 2. Then question number 45, 4, 5, 12. Now 12 into 3, 36 plus 3, 39. 5 into 2, 10 plus 2, 12. Now it is into 1 plus 1, into 4 plus 4, into 5 plus 5, 8 not 5, choice 4. Done? <coughs> now this is about paper number.